Hey guys, what's up? It's Lodash here, and today I'm back with some Redemption Shield Beta 2. So, um, they made a patch where when you have your weapon out, you move slower. It's very subtle. Like, you, you can notice it, but it honestly doesn't feel that much slower, so that's fine. Um, You're here the to trade, shop you? and the item from the rank 5, by relogging, I was able to add to the shop again and get the collectible, so that wasn't that much of an issue. So, we'll... I believe that works. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You gotta let go of it. I want a new steel. So, we'll start off with doing labyrinths. But yeah, start off without a weapon out because now you don't want to carry it around when trying to do speed. Dead end already. I'm definitely not going to get one of my records. Do these work now? Those don't seem to work yet. Oh, I died. So did a trap kill me? Because I thought I had plenty of health. Torvis, I found you. I guess I gotta kill some of these guys. There was a mass hill. How did that hit me? See, my only issue with the slow from the sword is going to be at mages still. And groups like that. I didn't realize I put the cork back in. Yeah, the range is able to get me every time. Just the first kill will help out so much. If I can get one. Okay, I'm getting damaged by that, I think.
I keep healing. There's too many of them. There we go. First chill is a big, big step. There are just so many that I run along. I don't, what's, what is hurting me so much right there? Like, I'm taking damage. And I don't know if it was that smoke. But so much of this damage, I'm not even, like, feeling like I'm too close to anything. Because I'll just randomly start taking damage. Okay, that time it was probably him stabbing me in the back. Okay. Right there. Why am I taking damage right now? Like, is these the smoke needs work done, I feel. It feels too, um... Off. Because, like, I'm here not taking any damage and then I'll be somewhere else entirely and I'm taking damage I still don't know how are you supposed to deal with mages cause like it was already hard enough to dodge them and now they've made you even slower I just, I, I don't know. I, I never parry on time. That's why they said they added it where you go slower. But I still feel like the parry system just doesn't feel like it works that well. And standing your ground doesn't work when all the enemies have AoE. <laughs> like... Finally, I blocked one. But then I'm getting stuff thrown at me constantly. What is getting thrown at there? Every other throw, I was not seeing any of them... ...do a throw animation. <laughs> Grab this. Grab this. So, I still can't tell. What are they wanting you to do? Did I run out of time? Yeah. But. What are they wanting you to do? Because if you don't move around constantly, you're gonna get smacked by all their abilities constantly. <laughs> Let's do a practice. I don't know. Of course, a dual wielder. Okay. So, AoE. You can't be in that range. I get hit. There. 
and then I had to back up. Can't parry that. Like, just after three parry counts, because it said parry, parry, and then parry failed. So, after three, now what? What are you supposed to do? And then you can parry again. It doesn't feel like it works enough to enforce using it. And then when you make it where you can't parry them, then what are you supposed to do if you're not supposed to walk away? Now we're at the point of just constantly walk away whenever they're unparryable. But then why even worry about parrying in the first place when you're stuck like that? <laughs> I just... I don't know. I get the idea of trying to make it where you parry. It just... I don't think the enemies are in a state to have that system. Because, like, mages, okay? So you're supposed to dodge because you you can't block that with a, as a berserker, okay? So we'll try this. What was that? I don't know. So, what are you supposed to do for mages? Because you get too close, they have AoE. You stay far away, they shoot you, and that's unblockable. Okay, so if you press trigger, you can block. However... The knight can gather their might behind their shield and strike a foe with it while they are casting to interrupt and stun them. So once the glyph on the knight's shield begins to spin again, the ability is ready to use once more. Okay. So you're supposed to... I turned you in time. But... So like that. Okay, so the slashing edge. Oh, it went through. How are you meant to block? So for these guys, you're meant to dodge. But now if you have your weapons out, you move slower. So I just, I don't know. That's my issue with a lot of VR, is you have to use those types of strategies. Just like, yeah, you can do this, but I can't use my ability yet, so he has an AoE. I can't get close enough. Yeah. And it doesn't even cast fast enough. You have to hold trigger till that appears, and then you can go in. So what are you supposed to do for projectiles? That's my question. The answer is dodge them. But... <laughs> You can't dodge them all because even if you're fully like spinning in a perfect circle around a mage, you'll still get hit sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you can dodge, sometimes you can't. But they're making you slower so that you're supposed to stand your ground. But standing your ground in an AoE attack 
adds up a lot of damage. So I'm just very confused as to what they're expecting to be done. Just like, oh, oh god, my um, uh, I'm broken. Can I fix it? <laughs> nope. I, I'm stuck. Wait. <laughs> so I lost stuff. Because my Berserker's 5 now and my Crystal's not in. I just realized that. They did say a uh, server timeout was probably the issue with the shop and stuff, but I didn't realize I lost stuff. Roads are broken right now. Okay. I haven't touched anything. Let's just try and swap classes. I won't grab the daggers or anything. Okay. But now I gotta test why it's broken. So, I swap, right? And it's gone. <laughs> God damn it. And yep, it's broken. So we'll test one thing. If I grab my dagger and put it back, can I swap? Yes. So if you swap to rogue, it gets rid of your left hand. Nothing else does that. I don't even know what class I am right now. Elementalist. My uh, right hand will disappear. I can go and do that. Honestly, hold on. Yeah, I have to put my hand where the weapon is. But it doesn't work on this side. And then I can't swap out of it. So, I don't know, actually. Because Knight, Berserker, Cleric, and Elementalist are working fine to swap between. It's only Rogue. Oh, Quest Giver? He has a health. Pay respect, accept. Okay. So, I got killed these guys with marks on their feet no skill points yeah all right so the quest is fully working all right can you give me a challenge so the movement speed isn't actually affecting it for dual wielders because you're still faster than them and they won't start even a swinging. He just spawned in, dang it. But I, st I still have issues with Elementalist. Because they do too many AoEs constantly. God, I need to find a way to not have them after me because I don't feel like dealing with it they're not part of the quest so let's see if I can sneak around well that, that worked quite well what is happening with these guys though like are you real okay so quest is bugged Because um, the quest enemies will spawn in, but they won't do anything. I need an ability to do damage. Well. That's interesting. How far do I want to go? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know my plan. There's not going to be an invisible collider all the way, is there? Hmm. Yeah. I'm now falling down the mountain. Dang it. What's your quest? So hopefully I can kill these guys. See? Right there. Oh, these quest enemies actually work. Maybe up there is just having issues. I really don't don't know at this point. Your defenses are nothing. You need an attack ability. That is one thing I I've noticed. I should have went with Rend again. But standing your ground, so there's only so many enemies here, and even then, standing your ground just feels like such a bad idea. Prepare to die. The grave beckons. The combat does not feel that great. Is it even worth it? This guy says it's not worth it. Okay, let me test, dude. Okay. So I should parry there. I got hit, but I parried. I can't parry. Hit, parried. So even whenever I'm parrying, like with my sword here, I'm getting hit by the time I parry. Ah, that was loud. 13 skill points and 97 points. Yeah. Okay. So quests do work. You'll still have issues though with Why is everything so loud all of a sudden? Okay. I have no clue what's gone on in this video so far. Alright. Let's try the system. There we go. Only a 20, okay. Parry. He's saying a good distance. I, I felt that parry. And that parry. Stabs are harder to parry. Oh, I need to do upswing for that. It went through. Not parry in time. Unparryable. <laughs> Okay. He moves too close and then he he'll just throw stuff.
<laughs> this is why standing your ground is not a good way of fighting. Because, okay, I'm standing my ground. I parried that. But I can't. He threw a bone at this range. Like, why would he throw a bone when he's inside you? <laughs> All right, I've just cut out so much because I have no clue what I've said and I don't want to have repeat. So I'm just going to do a quick overview. I suck at critique. I'm not the best at games. So I'm just doing it based on my opinion. Um, you've seen the quest. You've seen the labyrinth. You've seen just one-on-one -on -one duels in here. My opinion right now with the latest update of the sword slows you down is that should be removed honestly because it hasn't felt like it's affected melee combat as much as it's affected dodging the unparryable objects so like the range the aoe's and attacks over time and stuff like that they're harder to dodge because you can't move as fast and i don't know i feel like It'd be weird to have to put away your sword every time an AoE happens, especially with how often they happen. I feel like the melee enemies need to have... Um, like, the majority of melee enemies need to not have abilities. They just need to be pure melee. Bosses and stuff have AoE. Yes, that's fine. Make them... You want to parry and dodge. The parry system isn't refined enough yet. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done on it. With the... When you attack... Uh, when you parry, it'll then sometimes still hurt you. Sometimes it'll give you a parry failed and a parry. And then sometimes you just won't even get the parry. So... It doesn't feel that great right now. <laughs> And, yeah, with all the range, all the unparryable stuff also ruins the parry system because the enemies that you're meant to be parrying will then just throw a bone at you or they'll throw a knife at you or they'll do an earthquake or just anything that isn't parryable. And so, I, I think this beta is coming to an end. I'd do more if there was more time. I don't know. I might have another part. I might not. We'll find out how that goes. I'm thinking this might just be a quicker beta for my side of things. But, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace.